One of the greatest features of this appliance is the additional lateral excursive ability, which allows the patient to move laterally, whether they're bruxing out of tension, but it does maintain their mandibular advancement position. But at the same time, most importantly, it allows the joint, the TM joints, to be very mobile. And we know that a mobile joint is a very healthy joint. In other words, when it can circulate and lubricate itself with synovial fluid during the course of the night, rather than being static in a certain setting which a lot of the appliances really prepare the joint to be much more static, then we know that this joint is going to stay healthier while using the sleep appliance. And I find that is a great feature, really a, a fabulous feature to help maintain joint health while we use the appliance. Now, the proof is in the pudding for me, so I can tell you I've had a lot of reduction in AHI with my patients using the appliance, but I have made a dream tap in place of a tap three mechanism and placed it at the same advancement position as the tap three. And I've had a patient who's difficult, 75 years old, uh, older fella, less muscle tone. And what I've found is I've dropped the AHI from the diagnostic of 35 to the 18 AHI of the patient with a tap three at a certain advancement. And then when I placed the dream tap at that same advancement, I found that the AHI even proved further, which was down to 10. So that's kind of more to me proof in the pudding for myself and for you that there is a significant difference based on some of the features of this device that may allow us to consider maybe using this appliance over a lot of the other appliances that we've been used. So I've found to have great experience using this device. I recommend it highly based on my experience and the improvements that I've seen with my patients. I hope this helps you in making a decision to maybe go forward and try the dream tap. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.